What's good, people? Let's talk about how big this lobby is. Or I guess I should say how small it is. But before I get started, this is my second channel. And we have recently broke 1,000 subs. So that means a thousand of you, if not, you know, majority of that 1,000, is like, ah, I want to see this guy play live. And yeah, on that channel, I go live. So if you want to see me play this game in real time, then go to that channel and hit the sub button. You will not be disappointed. So, minus myself, there are eight people in this lobby. I want you to remember that. Minus myself, there are eight people here and nine people if you include me. That's how math works. But there are eight people here. Okay, cool. So, we got both the safes near each other in the center of the map. So, it would make sense for everyone to run toward the center of the map. I just said both safes are there, as well as the airdrop. So yeah, the center of town should be a hot spot. But, why am I running toward the edge of the map? Even though I spawn on one edge of the map. Well, it's too early to go to the center of the map, right? And I don't need to use a port to find out where someone is. I got a brain, and someone does spawn on the other side of this road, but also someone can spawn to my right. I said this once and I'll say it again. The easiest way to tell if you're about to kill someone is if they go prone and start shooting. Because they themselves are near death and they're like, well, fuck it. Now that I'm about to die and I'm going to spit my health trying to run away, what other option is there? If he gets more, one more round into me, I'm gone. So I might as well go prone and hope for the best. And that, people, is how you also know you're about to kill a sweat. Yes, I said it. If you land enough shots on them, they're going to go straight from evade to attack. Like a kitten who's trying to eat food, but you're, uh, how can I say this? Taking the bowl away from them. The bowl is your life. And they want to feed. Scary, but it makes sense, doesn't it? So yeah, when someone goes prone after you've been shooting at them and hitting them for like, you know, good three or four times, they're about to die. Take that in consideration in your future encounters. So yeah, now that we uh, got one kill under our belt, I have used the comm station. And now my next plan of action is to go into the center of the map. I'm going to keep reminding you all, there are eight players here. And I just took out one of them. So that makes seven. You got me? Cool. In this here game, players do... The same thing over and over again when they actually think they're doing something new nah there are multiple and i mean like hundreds if not thousands of players that are better than me so if you're sitting here thinking ah oh, this guy knows what he's talking about well there are other players who are better than, better than me who also know what they're talking about but they just don't have a youtube channel and they don't tell you the things that i tell you why it's their own prerogative I just happen to make YouTube videos on this game. So, deal with that. Now that I've said that, look where I'm at. The center of the map. Okay. So, where is everyone? You know what? Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. It, it, the forest is a big map. Right? It's a big map with a lot of open spaces and a lot of spaces where nothing can be accomplished. If nothing, nothing can be done. And you see, I look at, look at the Bard House, look at the time safe on the map, now they're what you're being opened. Okay, well, guess I'm gonna just run.
people there is a video that i made i want to say it was on anakin and i want to say i use a 629 i could be wrong but i do know for a fact it was on anakin and in that video i said when i hear a jammer i smile one person came under that comment section and said nah this guy just said he smiles when he hears jammers that's my nightmare I never hope I run into this guy, but I mean that extra part at the end was definitely extra, but he did say the word nightmare. I do know that much. He said this guy's my nightmare or something like that, right? Here's the thing. I'm the bottom of the barrel. Like, I'm just an average player who happens to use his brain. So if I intimidate you, like I just said, there are hundreds if not thousands of players who don't have YouTube channels but are way better than me. So if I think like this, then imagine the freaking player base. The plane is coming. Prepare to fight for the airdrop. In that video, the last kill was a guy who was prone near a jammer. I heard him fire one time, went in his direction to investigate, found a jammer, or found a jammed area, and then found him. Now, why am I talking about that in this year video? Well, people, I don't know how, you know, straightforward I can be. But, first of all, the safe is being opened. Alright, and I'm near the safe. Okay. I should be able to see, if not here, you running away or running toward the safe. Right? I mean, it's snow and it's wood. Very easy to hear. Very easy. So when I run up to the barred house and I don't hear a single thing, what does that mean? You're not moving. Why do you think I held my position behind that wall and looked through the cracks in the barred house or looked through the cracks in the plywood to see if there's anyone in there? And sure enough, there is, right? You see, jammers, as I keep telling you all, is something that I don't use purely because of that exact reason. Right? Jammers give you away. Sure, they hide you from afar, but they tell the person exactly where you are up close. It's a trade-off. So, of course, guy was just in the corner, just, you know, watching one angle. Of course, right? He gets dealt with. Credit where it's due. That grenade toss, it did scare me. It did. Now, I'm like, dog, there is no way someone's here. Well, of course, there's, there's someone here. Everyone on the map knows that, you know, the bar house is being opened. And as far as that time safe being opened, I'm pretty sure it was the same guy that tossed that grenade. I'm pretty sure. But, you know, that happened a long time ago. But I had to sit here and explain everything to you all because you'll be surprised. There are players who are brand spanking new to the game who will find my YouTube channel and are like, dog, this guy knows what he's talking about. So if you're new, hello. So what I'm doing right here is putting booby traps on... The airdrop and then putting radiation on the airdrop yeah you can do that that's like my third time doing that it's still brand new to me but here's the thing if i could sit there and put all three contact bomb well booby traps on that airdrop and not get shot at what does that tell you either i'm being watched or there is nobody there now which option do you want to say is the real option if you said that I'm being watched, good. You're learning. But at the same time, too, if I was being watched, wouldn't the guy shoot at me because I had stole his precious airdrop from him? When I say stole, I mean made it virtually impossible to leave the encounter with. Yeah, exactly. So no one's there. Or at least it appears that way. Ah, you know what? I forgot to tell you all this. Like I said, there were, there were eight players there, minus me. And well, eight players here, minus me, right? I killed three. So, that makes five. Players here, minus me, right? So, between the start of the encounter and now, I've only killed and seen three people. There were eight here previously. So, there could be a potential of five people here. Potentially, right? Now, let's just go ahead and say one person left. 
That makes four people. Let's just go ahead and say that. One person left the match. So now there's four people. It is damn near the end of the match. And I am absolutely positive that I'm the only one who shot any kind of weapon in this entire match. And yet, like I said, we're going to assume one other person left. There are potentially four other people here. And look, only the barred house safe was opened. The time safe is still timed. And the safe contents are still safe. Why do you think I'm walking in this area? Exactly. To see if anyone goes for the time safe. But, like I said, it's the end of the match. And no one's here yet. And on top of that, or I guess down the road from that, that airdrop. I can see it from here. No one's going for that either? Yep. People, this is forced. The map of blandness. It's like getting ham and putting no salt, no pepper, no pineapple. No, don't even grill it. Just eat it. Straight out of freaking Kroger. Shit crazy. But like I said, that's how it be. Now, Radiation has announced its arrival, and it's covered pretty much about 30 to 35% of the map. Um, and I'm not being covered by it. Yet. So what does that tell you? Well, obviously it's coming from the other direction. Now it's hitting me. Okay. You can clearly see my, my train of thought here. I'm like, yeah, so if there's anyone going for anything important, they might take this exit because that airdrop, yeah, they're going to die. And hopefully I get the kill for it because booby traps. But they're going to die. So if they grab it at time safe, they're going to come running this way. And you see, I'm looking around me. Sure, I'm looking straight in front of me right now, but my peripheral vision is on 110. I said it. Now... I'm near this exit, and it appears as if no one is here. This and the exit down the road, like behind me and to my left, are the two most camped exits in the entire game. So you can't really blame me for doing what I did just now. Yeah, I said what I said. And now I'm alone because my threat icon is steady white. Yep. So sure, I killed four people out of the eight that is, uh, or that spawn in this here match. But the other four left. When they leave, we don't know. But I'll tell you this much, that's just how boring force can be. It really is. And when I heard those crows, I'm like, man, listen, there is no way someone is still here. And I honestly thought they were behind a rock in the exit. Well, like not in, but on the like the edge of the circumference of the circle that says you can leave. That's why I put a mortar strike in the exit. I mean, there there are like plenty of places you can hide in that exit, to be honest with you. But if you do hide in that exit, you a bitch. And I hope that someone drops a random mortar strike and it kills you. And I said what I said. I stand on that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.